A terrible crime and a tragic loss. This one hits home for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office as two of their own die in a murder-suicide. Good evening, I'm Stacy Scheibel. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us. As Stacy just said there, two Hillsborough County deputies are dead following a murder-suicide over the weekend. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says they were involved in a romantic relationship and they were on vacation in St. Augustine with other deputies when it happened. Jeff Patterson joins us now live from the Sheriff's Office. Jeff. Good evening, Stacy and Keith. Well, one of the detective, one of the deputies involved is a detective. The other one is a uniformed officer in the patrol division. They are both dead tonight. The apparent victims of domestic violence. It happened at this vacation rental home in St. Augustine. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says other deputies in the home, also on vacation, heard arguments, then gunshots. Then they found Detective Daniel Layden dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The other deputy, also dead in the room. Mendy Murphy is with The Spring, a domestic violence shelter in Tampa. Law enforcement officers uh, are people and uh, as people they commit crimes and and they're victimized murphy says help is available but often law enforcement officers don't seek it as a victim you're very limited in um in the safety that you can seek it, it can be incredibly isolating and hard to reach out for services if the person battering you is in law enforcement dr caitlin jettelina is a violence epidemiologist at the university of texas health science center who has studied mental health issues impacting law enforcement law enforcement officers aren't doing very well um right now she says law enforcement officers across the country are under increasing stress with more than 26 percent suffering from a mental health health issue. We've seen that uh, police officers are under a lot of different types of stressors that influence not only their mental health, but how they interact with each other. Mendy Murphy says stress on any job is not an excuse for violence. No amount of um, pressure uh, should, uh, should excuse someone's choice to murder their partner. Again, Mindy Murphy, the CEO at The Spring, and Dr. Jetalina there at the University of Texas both point out that mental health and domestic violence help is available, especially for deputies, but unfortunately they are less likely to take that help than the general population. Live in Ybor City, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.